Hi guys. So in the, uh, the last month I've decided I'm probably going to be starting to uh, upload some videos that might be able to make some of the things that I advise you in classes be a little bit more portable and something that you can really check up on when you get home. Um, so what we're going to have a look at today is hopefully an exercise that helps with making the calves be a little bit more flexible. Um, and perhaps correct some of the distortions that sometimes uh, are prevalent in, in people's calves. So what I'll do, I'll just move this uh, laptop over so you can see what I'm doing. Get it set up over here. Okay, that should be pretty good. Um, so, first things first. When the calves are quite tight, they actually tend to affect the whole of the body, so it's not just um, the actual calf muscle which is the actual problem, it can actually affect the whole kinetic chain or the whole body. Everything that your foot and ankle does will affect the body because it's all attached. So what I'm going to do next is show you how you can see whether you've got any kind of dysfunction in the lower part of the leg, um, and we'll do this with the overhead squat. So it's, it's one of those exercises I use for quite a lot of these uh, assessments, but we'll have a look and uh, see whether it's prevalent for you. So let's just get this so you can see the mats and my feet. That'll be fine. Okay, so when I go into the overhead squat, I want to start off with my feet facing pretty much strictly forwards. Um, from there, as the name suggests, I'll raise the arms up above my head. And as I go through this squat with my feet about shoulder width apart, um, the toes can go slightly out, but not much, I should be able to go down through my squats and back up without the feet moving so much. Now, if you tend to have quite tight calves, uh, particularly on the outside of the calf, the lateral gastric femus, what will happen is as you squat, you'll get to a point where you can't go any lower without those feet moving. And it might not be as dramatic as that, it might be that you feel them moving and turning as you actually go down. Uh, the knees may well come in as the feet turn out, but that's a slightly separate issue. So, as you go down through that squat, the calf has to actually stretch. Um, and there's a number of different ways in which the calf can be tight, but the one I'm focusing on at the moment is um, if a, the feet turn out. So one way you can check whether the calf is an issue is to actually take it out of the equation completely so that you don't need your calves to be flexible to squat. Um, one way you can do this, it doesn't have to be a, a step like this, it can be a book or anything like that, really raises the heels off the floor by a couple of inches. And what I'll do, I might need two of these. My feet. I think you can see that there. So I'm actually going to raise my heels up. So it's, it's almost like I've got the, the high heels on. Feet facing forwards again. And what you'll do is you'll repeat that squat action and go down. And what you might notice is actually, with new flexible calves, it's a hell of a lot easier to be upright, to squat down, and the feet don't turn out. So if the modification of having the feet or the heels elevated makes everything better about your squat, then likely the calf being more flexible is going to be advantageous. The reason that works is when we point our toes, uh, uh, plantar flexion, that sort of thing, the muscle becomes quite tight, contracts. As we go down, the muscle's having to stretch and it, re it effectively relaxes. So as we're coming down, the actual calf is relaxing from a tight position to a normal position. Whereas if I do this on the floor, as I go down, it's going from a normal position into a very stretched and lengthened position, which uh, if for some people the calf won't like that, and it'll actually cause the feet to move out to avoid that stretch. So by hopefully raising the foot up, we take the calf out of the equation. Hopefully that's uh, clear. Probably didn't explain it as well as I could have done. If your feet do happen to turn out, it's likely the outside of the calf is tight, and you can check that with those experiments. Here's what you do to try and rectify it. So, just simply turn your toes in, have them separated by about the width of your own palm, and then from here, just slowly allow yourself to fall forwards, 
And you, you'd only really want to do this particular stretch if you've got a pretty healthy back as well, so take that into consideration. And just go as low as you can, and without bending the knees, try and keep them straight, see how far you can go. So for me, I can go to the floor relatively easy. And now I've got my stretch, and I can feel the legs start to shake, and it's right in the size of the calves. You'd hold that one for 30 to 45 seconds, and if you did that on a daily basis, Eventually you should notice that the calves become quite flexible, especially in that lateral gastrocnemius, and uh, hopefully you correct some of the dysfunction that you have in your calf. Okay, hope that's been useful. I'll chat to you soon.